What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and today I am taking you on one heck of an adventure. I had to engage four low, use my rear lockers and disconnect my sway bars just to get here because today we are going shopping at Walmart. That's right. This is where we're going. This is our adventure. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's only indoor event for adventure travel enthusiasts. Artemis Overland Hardware, they have the passion and knowledge to ensure that your next outdoor experience is more than a camping trip, it's an adventure. And Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. So here's the deal. A while back, I made a video on the best overlanding gear to buy on Amazon. And that video went bonkers. Never dreamed that people would care so much about what to buy on Amazon. Uh, but they do and so there's a big interest in this and i got a lot of you know some hateful comments about amazon is of the devil and don't shop online and shop local and and here's the deal i don't have any like actual local off-road overlanding shops um, and i know a lot of you don't either but everybody everybody's got a walmart nearby or or something like it so we are going to pretend like we have no gear. We are completely starting from scratch. And we're gonna walk in Walmart and see what we can find and try to completely outfit everything we need at Walmart. So here we go. All right, so obviously the first place we're going is the camping aisle because I think that's where we're gonna find a bunch of our stuff. But obviously there's other departments in here that have some cool things too that will be beneficial to us, but camping out first. Let me say, I did not come in here and pre-plan this. So I'm just starting out fresh. So shelves may be empty of some things, but we'll have to do the best we can. Okay, the first thing anybody's gonna need is something to sleep in. So we gotta find shelter. Um, need shelter so it doesn't look like they have a whole lot of options but depending on your needs I think uh, something like this four person tent I mean if you're really a two person tent is fine if it's just you but there's just not a lot of room in there and I like room to stretch out um, so I think something like a four person tent is great and gives you plenty of room to get comfortable. And that one, um, it's not one of their quick setup ones. I really like if they had one of their quick setup ones. Um, let's see. All right, here's an instant tent. Now these things actually are a lot easier to set up than the regular tent. So I would probably go with that. And it's not, it, it's not too big. I mean, that's not, that's not bad. That's doable to throw on the back of your rig. We're not backpacking. But I mean, if you're on a budget, 35 bucks for just a basic tent, I, I, I would do that. Oh, I just found this one. This is a three person dome tent for 25 bucks. It comes in this handy dandy little, little bag. I mean, this is gonna take you a little bit to set up, but remember, we're not getting all bougie yet. After you've tried this, then you can spend 400 bucks on a gazelle tent. Um, all right, so tents taken care of. We need something to sleep in. Um, probably gonna need a sleeping bag, depending on the time of year. You know, if it's, if you're late spring, early fall, summertime, a 50 degree bag wouldn't be bad. Wintertime, 20 degree bag. Um, you can, if it's really cold, you can take this one and slip it inside this one and stay even warmer. So there's options there, but they don't have a lot of sleeping bags. They got. They got, it looks like two adult sleeping bags. So, but one of those will work. All right, so let's see. I don't really care to sleep on the ground. Um, so let's find, let's see here. Aha. Um, so we got multiple options here. My personal preference is an air mattress. Um, just because they fold up fairly small, just something like, you know, this $22 queen size 
air mattress would work. Um, if you want to get really fancy and comfortable, you can go with a big old giant thick air mattress like that or something in between with this 15 inch one. But if I were sleeping in a tent, I like an air mattress. I'm not a fan of cots, but that's just my preference. Do they even have cots here? Oh, and a, a, a battery powered air pump for the air mattress is a good idea. They're, they're a whole lot smaller than your manual pumps. You do have to deal with batteries. Like this one runs off your, your cigarette lighter adapter. That, that would be a win. Oh, here's another good option for sleeping is a hammock. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I love my hammock. Um, I would always recommend a two person hammock is going to sleep a lot better than a one person. just because of the the more room they've even got bug nets they've got your tree straps they've got inflatable pillows um yeah you could have a a good hammock system right here for not a lot of money um if you've never tried sleeping in a hammock highly recommend okay we've got our sleeping situated we got tents we got hammocks uh air mattresses or if you just like sleeping on the ground just throw your sleeping bag on the ground um so let's talk food. You can never go wrong with a Coleman two burner stove. Uh, this one's 20,000 BTUs, that's what you want. Don't get anything less than that. Don't get a 15 or a 10,000 because then it's gonna take you a while just to boil water. Um, but this one would be a great one. Here's a little bit, that one's $89. This one's $43. It's uh, probably very similar can't tell it's also a 20,000 BTU unit um, yeah I mean it would work good good too here's a little single burner butane I've used one of these before they do work great um, doesn't quite have the, the BTUs that I like but you know if you need something small like if you're living if you're gonna be camping out of the back of a two-door Wrangler um, maybe not bad yeah um, tell you what I love cooking over the campfire and I've got one of these and these work great for cooking your meats, vegetables, I mean, boiling water. If you just wanna take this and cook over a campfire, that is an awesome way to do it. But just keep in mind, sometimes there's burn bans. So don't, uh, don't plan on cooking with that if there's a burn ban. Um, let's see, oh, here's a, another little bit cheaper option. It's the Walmart brand Ozark Trail. It's uh, 32 bucks. It's also 20,000 BTUs. That's, I've, I've had an Ozark trail stove and it, it worked. Let's see. If you just want to go kind of minimalist, you could do something like this, single burner stove, 10,000 BTUs, just for one, one pot, one skillet type of thing. That works good. Um, obviously gonna need fuel. So grab a couple canisters of propane that's still not a bad price for a two pack, basically $3.75 or so for a bottle, not bad. Let's see, we need things to cook in. Now, I love a good cast iron skillet and you cannot go wrong with that. Um, but for starting out, I don't know that I would recommend a cast iron skillet. Where are there other camp skillets? I don't see them. Uh, we may have to go to the kitchen aisle just to get a basic skillet. Um, but these things right here, this is a four person table setting all in one. So if you're taking your wife or girlfriend or you know, maybe you're the wife and your husband or boyfriend, um, got collapsible cups, fork spoons, everything you need is, is right there. So for, for your eating, that, that's perfect. And that's only $11.46. And with that, you don't even need anything else. Um, they do have the Mountain House Adventure Meals. If you wanna go minimalist and just boil water for your food, not a bad idea. Um, and other things, these, I love these Yuko forks. This is what, something similar to this I use. Mine doesn't have the little knife on it. Um, but I love those. They got all kinds of great things there. Um, kettles if you're a coffee drinker to boil water oh here we go camp cook dine set pots skillet 
little bitty skillet. Um, I'd probably still go to the kitchen aisle to get something non-stick because you're gonna burn your food with that real fast. And of course, there's always the good old hot dogs, hot dog sticks. Um, the definitely need to get either some of these or some of the bigger ones to make uh, to make s'mores and and that sort of stuff. Um, so don't forget those. If you're not taking a lot of water, or if you think you may run out, having something like a life straw can be a lifesaver um, to filter water when you're out and about. Highly recommend having one of those in your in your in your in your totes. Um, let's talk water. Definitely going to need to bring water with you. I love these square jugs. These are what I use, and uh, they've got the little the little spout inside that you can put this on its side and turn it on and off. Uh, that's super handy to have for for washing dishes, washing hands, uh, that sort of thing. You just flip that around and turn it like that. And they're, they're only just over 15 bucks. Can't go wrong there. All right, we've got our food and shelter taken care of and water. Food, shelter, water. That's honestly, that's all you need is food, shelter, and water. Um, you know, that's, that's the basics. But, I mean, we're not going to, to survive. We're going to live in the wild, right? So let's find some other things that would be very helpful to have. Walmart has this great stuff here. Um, toilet seat covers, these actually fit over a five gallon bucket. If you don't wanna go squat or lean against the tree, um, you could take something like that in a five gallon bucket. They've got these waste bags for this toilet kit here. And that's actually a really great one, but I don't see that on the shelf. It looks like it goes right there normally 30 bucks um, if I were starting fresh that's the option I would go with um, solar shower if you're gonna be out long enough that you're gonna need a shower those actually will warm water enough to to be comfortable not a bad thing to have they pack down really small um, something to start a fire or to to at least chop wood having a little hatchet is a good idea these folding saws work now I carry a, a small battery powered chainsaw to make my life super easy. But I just recently got that and would use one of these. Uh, I don't recommend a, a machete for, for chopping wood. That's gonna, that's gonna take a while. So a good little, good little hatchet like that. Don't, don't go a little teeny tiny one like this. Um, folding shovel, great to have. Pocket knife or utility knife, multi-tool, great to have. Um, magnesium bar for starting fire. Um, great to have uh, something like that I, I use a magnesium bar bug spray good to have i mean we are outdoors with all the creepy crawlies so definitely get some bug spray i just go the the, the max deet because we're in arkansas and our bugs are nasty um, but I, i've heard mixed reviews on the thermocells uh, i've heard they work great i've also heard people say they don't work so I haven't tried one, I need to. Um, but you know, 20 bucks for maybe not having to smell like bug spray might be worth it to you. We do need some chairs, um, just any of these. Uh, I like this one, nice oversized chair is gonna be comfortable. Any of these chairs are gonna work. I've used one for, for years and they work fantastic. Uh, definitely good idea to have a table and these are are super i've got a slightly smaller version of this table that goes in my jeep but it's a it's a good table um you know a pop-up canopy is not a bad idea my friend nathan carries a 12 by 12 in his truck and we have used that on many many occasions so a 10 by 10 is a good one just something basic that one's 80 bucks so not bad um if you've got space for a canopy like that and it might be raining uh recommend the noise and the music in here is quite loud and i hope it doesn't mess up my video but uh i did not realize that walmart was carrying lucy lights um i use these um i've got this one i've got one similar to this one they're solar rechargeable these things are fantastic highly recommend this one inflates to create a, a lantern style Highly recommend this. 
Um, I mean, 15 bucks for that. I've got this light. Um, it is great. And it's 20 bucks. Uh, oh, this is handy. A little daisy chain thingy for hanging stuff on. That would be good to have. This looks like a nice light for a tent to hang up there, nice and diffused. Um, having a good light is a great idea. Uh, tent pegs. I really like this style because you can bang it in with a mallet without uh, bending it. Uh, definitely get a rubber mallet if you have a tent. Um, these work well too. Um, I do use these for my hammock, uh, but for anything major, I just use these. I think those look great. So I actually found these tucked away a little bit separate from the camping stuff, and they do have cots. Um, little folding cots for 40 bucks. They've got a little bit smaller table. I'd go with that one over the big giant one. And they've got a couple extra sleeping bags. They got a nice middle of the road, 40 degree bag um, and a mummy bag. I hate mummy bags, very, very mummy-ish confining, but some people love them. So, all right, there were other options. They do have a cot and they have a smaller table. Um, recommend the smaller table. Okay, coming over here to the kitchen section. Um, if you're going cast iron, get the lodge over the Ozark Trail. It's just, it's better quality and it's seasoned out of the gate and you'll, you'll be happier with life. These are great to have. You can actually throw them on that little campfire thing. You can throw them over a two burner stove and have a type of griddle. Um, that's great. As far as skillets go, I would just get a little cheap nonstick skillet like this. I mean, it's not like you're needing something something expensive and fancy over here just something just something lightweight i mean that's six bucks it doesn't weigh hardly anything it will scramble eggs and cook bacon really really nicely um or make a grilled cheese all kinds of things don't forget a knife and just uh you know just something something like that or maybe maybe just a, a small little thing like that for 10 20 bucks you don't need to bring you know your whole chef knife type of thing i love how this has this damascus looking finish for, for 10 bucks yeah you're not fooling anybody that's crap make sure you've got uh spatulas for flipping eggs and stuff um depending on what you're cooking make sure you've got a can over i can't remember i just can't remember how many times i have gotten to camp and needed to open a a can of vegetables or something and did not have a can opener with me so get a can opener throw that in your in your kitchen uh, tote i don't typically measure things at camp so i don't worry about measuring spoons and and stuff but depending on what you're cooking you may just trying to think of things that you may overlook in your camp kit uh silicon spatulas these are fantastic um, if you don't mind the colors but this is i use something like this at camp and they work great and they're super easy to clean up um i don't think we need any cheese Ooh, these i love having the bamboo wooden ones those work fantastic um and they're not expensive and they're more sturdy than the cheap little flimsy ones we saw over there uh, and don't forget a cutting board um, at least something like these flexible mats are great to have that way you're not cutting meats and stuff directly on your table um, but some little cutting board is good to have. I've got something like that, a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, about that size is what I carry. But I do like the idea of these flexible mats. I may have to get some of those to throw in my, my thing. That may, be, that may be better. If you're camping in the winter time, the Buddy Heater by Mr. Heater is fantastic to have. We use ours all the time in the winter time. Uh, we've used them in our camper, we've used them in a tent, a rooftop tent we use it in our annex um, those are great to have be sure and have plenty of propane because these things will drain a propane tank in no time this is five and a half hours on low two and a half hours on high on a propane tank so be prepared and having some means of starting a fire other than you know the magnesium rod is good to do these work although i'm not as big of a fan of these these are great they're waterproof they're small there's 18 of them in this one box for five bucks um make sure you have some form of lighter to be able to light that and possibly also your stove 
uh, but I think that should that should cover you. Always check out the hunting and fishing sections um, because they've got handy stuff that's good to have. Um, an emergency rain suit is good to keep in your kit. That way your clothes don't get just completely drenched. I have made the mistake of not carrying a rain jacket before when it was cold and just had a sweatshirt and my sweatshirt got wet and that is no good. Um, so don't make that same mistake I did. Get some sort of, of, of rain jacket that's lightweight that you can fold up and put places. All right, let's talk ice chests. Some Walmarts I've heard actually carry um, fridges, but I don't see one here. I would recommend something in the in the Yeti style roto molded um, ice chest. Um, that one's quite a bit at 144 bucks. I mean, it's not Yeti prices, but still. Um, something like that it's easy to wheel around for 97 bucks but i mean in a pinch if, if you just need something you can never go wrong with an igloo 50 bucks but keep in mind you got to put ice in these so that takes up half of your storage space um so maybe something in the 50 quart size 50 quarts for 50 bucks that's not bad so ice chest is uh is a must for your foods if you're not gonna have a fridge. A tarp, having a tarp in your kit is great to have because you never know, you may not have planned for rain, but a storm could come up. So just a good you know, nine by 12 tarp. Um, don't, get, don't get anything crazy like a 12 by 24, uh, but something you can string between two trees or drape over your tent if it's, or, but as the base of your tent comes in really handy. So having a tarp in your rig is a great idea and some bungee cords, tie down straps, um, good, to, good to have as well. I love these bungee balls. They're super easy to, to use. All right, I think we have covered most of the camping stuff. So let's talk emergency and recovery type stuff because Walmart actually has things for that. Now, obviously Walmart is not gonna sell winches. Um, you may be able to buy them on their website, but at the bare minimum, get a get a 30 foot toe strap so that if you happen to get stuck, um, you may not be able to recover yourself, but if someone comes along, you can use that and pull you out of, of whatever you're, you're hung up in. Um, so highly recommend having a toe strap in your rig. Dead batteries are always a thing. I highly recommend something like this Noco Boost. We've got one similar to this um, in both of our rigs. Um, these will definitely, if you have a dead battery from uh, powering lights or something from your rig, or um, that will get you out of a bind. Fuel, um, not, as, not as nice and pretty and Instagram worthy as a Rotopax but uh, having some extra fuel depending on how far you're going is never a bad idea. You got the what, five gallon size, we got the two, two gallon size? Yeah, two gallons. Uh, so having extra fuel, good idea. Um, air compressors, uh, always helpful to air down when you're going off road. Now, these are not going to air your tires up fast at all but better to be able to air up at all than to not be able to air up. So, I mean, for 40 bucks, I mean, it'll work. Runs off your, your 12 volt and it'll, it'll, it'll air your tires up. Make a sandwich while you're doing it, but it'll work. Um, tire repair kits. Don't overlook keeping these in your rig. Uh, Cause if you get a, a flat on the trail, you're gonna need something like that to uh, to repair your tire and then something like that to air back up also over here in the automotive section they've got some some good what would be good camp lights um, these are rechargeable don't uh, don't get any of these with, with the cords um, but these are rechargeable and uh, I mean that would be a a good camp light um, any of these uh, rechargeable headlamps 
always good idea to have. All right, well, now that we've shopped for all this gear, we gotta find something to put it in. So let's see what we can find as far as totes go. Where are they? All right, I found the totes. Um, unfortunately, these I've seen better totes at different at other Walmarts, but uh, so I'm a little bit disappointed here. But these will work. I mean, these these are just good, simple, deep totes. We're not looking for anything massively dustproof and whatnot because um, we're in Walmart and they don't have them. Um, this is not a bad little kind of a locker style tote for 20 bucks. Um, I mean, you're not gonna get them sealed or anything. Now, I have, I've seen other brands at other Walmarts. So your Walmart may have better options than totes than mine does. Um, but I'd probably go with, I'd probably go with a couple of those. Um, maybe, maybe one of those. Um, but I, I would pick something like this over, over, over this style. And okay, one thing do not forget is some sort of first aid kit. Um, probably more like this one, but something that you if, you know, you get trip and fall and you, you know, gash your leg open with the, you know, on a stick or something, wound dressing, tape, bandages, gloves. Um, I'm not saying go full on trauma kit because I wouldn't even know how to use that, but uh, don't overlook a first aid kit. Uh, in your in your rig for these type of trips very important to have okay i had to come over to the electronic section to find these but two-way radios i'm a big fan of midland uh, but uh, two-way radios are a must even if you're wheeling with multiple people you need to be able to communicate or if it's just you and your family at camp and you need to walk away from camp and go find firewood um, having something to communicate with those back at camp is a must now these aren't going to be uh you know emergency communications to reach out to people uh if if there's an emergency but talking to those amongst camp in case there's an emergency is very good to have uh do not pay attention to the up to 36 mile range that's a load of crap you'll be likely to get two out of any of these especially in the woods but it's gonna work a whole lot better than a cell phone so communications major deal but well, i think that was about the scariest thing that i have done in a while we'll spend this much time in walmart i'd rather go run for Chick canyon again honestly if you would hit that like button subscribe to the channel check out our patreon and consider uh, supporting this channel in a very tangible way and uh longcreekoverland.com for all things ozark overland adventures merchandise i'll see you next time bye